From the groundbreaking ceremony to its completion, Portos is finally open to the public. We're so excited. We're going to talk to some people about the ribbon cutting ceremony and go inside and try some of their delicious pastries. So stay tuned. If you've been watching BPTV for a while, then you know we've been following the construction of Portos Bakery and Cafe in Buena Park since the groundbreaking last year. Well, now the construction has been completed and March 1st was a ribbon cutting and grand opening to the public. Portos placed number one on Yelp's 2016 Top 100 list of places to eat in the U.S. And this new 20,000 square foot store in Buena Park aims to keep that standard up with many of their delectable items. The public response to this ribbon cutting was the biggest we've ever covered and everyone was excited to be among the first people to get inside. Oh, we are ecstatic. Everyone here is so excited. You know, um, the closest Portos is actually in Downey. So now Orange County residents are just thrilled that we actually have a Portos right here in our own county so that we can come whenever we want. And it's great. So what do you like to eat, Mike, when well, you go to Portos? I'd say if the hierarchy, everything is probably <laughs> the right answer. What's your favorite thing to try at Portos? Potato balls. <laughs> That's everyone's favorite. It's a go-to. Yeah. So Sharon here has a whole list of items that she's ready to get inside. Sharon, can you share us your list with us? I sure will. Here's my list that I have to bring back to the office today. If not, then I am in trouble. Very, very excited. This is a big event. The whole community has been looking forward to them coming to Buena Park. They're a great family, a great business. Just very excited. It was soon time for the welcoming remarks before the ribbon cutting. And did I mention the crowd of Portos fans and future customers were amazing? City Manager Jim Vanderpool thanked the Portos family for choosing Buena Park for their newest location. I want to uh, express great pride um, that we stand here today in between a castle and a pirate ship <laughs> to welcome the Porto family and their amazing restaurant destination bakery to the center of the Southland. It once was a dilapidated crime-ridden bunch of hotels. Um, it is a great new family-friendly destination. It so e easily illustrates what is possible when local government works cooperatively under the leadership of our mayor and city council with partner visionaries like the Porto family. So at this time, it's my distinct pleasure to introduce and invite up to the podium Academy Award nominee Andy Garcia. After Andy Garcia, a longtime Portals family friend, expressed his pleasure with their accomplishments as a family and as community builders. from the Porto family. I, I know I, I met the, the the parents first and then the kids and when I moved to Los Angeles in 1978 to look for work as an actor and they gave me many many free little coffees and little uh, they saw how, how how starving I was at the time <laughs> and they took care of me and I have I have a great love and appreciation for the family it's truly been a, a great privilege of mine to be associated with me with them over the years. We've become very good friends, but it's, it's a great honor for me to, to have them a part of my extended family. Part of the, the thing I'm so proud about then is the way they represent our community, is, and specifically since we share a common culture in the, both their family and my parents were exiles from Cuba in the early 60s, and we came here as political exiles, obviously, you know, fleeing uh, political repression and looking for freedom and opportunity for, for the parents, for our kids, for our kids meaning us. And uh, America, land of opportunity that it is, that we love so much, gave the Portos family uh, the opportunity to grow and prosper through hard work and perseverance, keeping the family together, uh, creating great product, giving great price points, supporting the community, embracing the people who embrace them. Raul Porto Jr., CEO of Portos, thanked the city for welcoming them to Buena Park and making them feel like it's a home for them. I wanted to thank um, the mayor, the city council, 
um, city manager, and all of you for the leadership that you guys have shown and for really convincing us and bringing us here and for the, um, the welcome that you have shown us and the support and the great work we've done together. Finding a new location for us, it's kind of like finding a home where you're gonna live and we really feel like we came home to a great place. Mayor Bud Swift remarked about the style of the new Portals building and how much she appreciates them as a positive addition to the city. But on behalf of the City Council, I want to congratulate you on this spectacular opening. I uh, used to teach interior design. I have to tell you, I love your interior design. And I heard a little bit about the process of how the tile went in um, a couple of days ago. And you sure live up to your motto of putting quality into everything that you do. So thank you for doing that. A tremendous quality product here. I just have to say, I, this is my hometown. I've lived here my entire life. I'm so thrilled to see such a beautiful facility built here in what, as the city manager mentioned, was some, a pretty lighted area. And um, you've done a great job already. I know you'll continue to do so. So on behalf of the city council and council members, if you'll move in just a little bit, we'd like to present you with a certificate and thank you once again for coming to Buena Park. There were many more certificates of appreciation and good luck given for the opening. And then the doors were finally open and customers were let in. This is Olga from Fullerton, and Olga, what did you order? I love everything. Uh -huh. I love uh, con gris. Ah, me no cookie more. Oh. Porque every time I love it here. Okay, we're talking with Yehida from Tony Mendoza's office, and she was told not to come back to the office without this. Yeah. <laughs> Two boxes Super full cute. of treats. Yummy. What did you get, Yehida? So what we got today were some potato balls some cheese rolls and uh, some guava pastries. Oh, yum. Are you excited that everyone here is here to try some delicious pastries? Yes, I am. I'm, exi I'm excited indeed. But uh, the crowd is nothing new for us here at Portos. However, for the opening, we actually did not expect uh, for the line to go around the building as it is still outside really? around the building right now. <laughs> Jim, Portos is finally open. We were here at the groundbreaking ceremony and you talked about economic development and how Portos is going to help the city of Buena Park. Tell us more about that. You know, this is just a, a perfect example of you know, redevelopment, you know, making a project make a difference in the community, um, really turning blight into progress, providing jobs, construction jobs, long-term, you know, uh, permanent jobs, and creating happy memories for our residents. So how would this improve the quality of life in Buena Park? Well, it's improved our community, number one, by uh, making a beautiful building here that people want to come to. It improves the quality of life when people are able to earn enough money to make a living, to do whatever they need to do. And of course, I always push education, so go to college. And then getting a degree or getting post-secondary education as a baker or some other uh, craft, that improves quality of life because you um, make higher salaries for one thing. But it's a, just all around a good deal here for Buena Park. It's beautiful. It's really big and it's, I love the architecture, all the colorful walls and it's nice. So I have a barista here, Juana, and Juana, you'll be brewing coffee at this location, right? Yeah, I'll be, this will be my new home. My home used to be Downey, but now this is my new home. I moved over. What are some popular items that people get? Oh, the most popular item that you have to have when you come here is the Portos Cortadito. That's our number one seller. It's two shots of espresso condensed and foam on top. It's delicious. I am definitely going to get that next time. Well, whenever you're here, I'll be here. 
Thank you so much, Juana. And welcome to Bona Park. Thank you. Thank you very much. You guys are nothing but nice to us. Betty yes. finally opened its doors. Yes. Yes. And is this crazy or what? I know. I, you know, we always think that we're going to open. There's going to be a lot of people. But we never think it's going to be this many people. I was here at 4 in the morning, and there were people waiting for us to open the door at 4 in the morning, sitting with their chairs, their hats. Incredible. We spoke to them, and people are here all from all, all parts of Orange place. County. Yes, yes. They're all from different flats. They're coming. Not only Orange County, there's people here coming from Apple Valley. Coming. Oh, Crazy wow. stuff. Yes, yes. Welcome to Buena Park. So there you have it, the grand opening of Porto's. It's finally open. If you want some delicious pastries, come here right to Beach Boulevard and pick some up. I'm Kathy Beck. We'll see you next time. Portal!